Hello and welcome to another episode in my Warhammer 40,000 Conquest series. In this episode, we're going to be painting the models from issue 34. So that's the Malignant Plague Caster, the Noxious Blightbringer, and the Plague Champion for your Plague Marines. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. Now, before we get started, let me just remind you to click that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any more videos that I put out uh, in the future to do with building and painting these models. Now, let's get to painting. So hello and welcome back uh, to another painting tutorial. Um, so, we are going to be painting the Noxious, Noxious Blightbringer, the Plague Champion, and the malignant plague caster so start with if you haven't seen it already i'll put a link above and in the description below for the building episode um, with some tips there and why i have them built the way i do um, for painting reasons so to start with i did spray them with uh, death guard green and now we are going to give them a once over with a thin down layer of Death Guard Green from the pot, just in case we missed any areas. Once this is dry we will then get our abdon black and start filling in some of the details so this will be the joints in between the armor uh, the holsters as well and don't forget the noxious blight bringer has a plasma gun so or plasma pistol rather so we want to paint that in and the plague champion even has his uh, knife and the uh, blood drone above his head painted in the Abaddon Black 2. Next up is Lead Belcher, so this will be focused on all of the pipes um, and let's not forget the vents on the power packs as well and any other details you feel would really benefit from this, um, including the chains as well. Next up is Bugman's Glow, and this will be for the fleshy areas. So, we'll do the fleshy sacks on the stomachs, the faces, the pipes that are covered in flesh. The um, Blightbringer has a nobling on him as well, so, you want to paint that up. The fleshy growths around the feet as well, and just remember to check around the back of the models because sometimes they have some tentacles hiding there too.
continuing with our base paint, we will go on to rack our flesh. Uh, so you want to look at all the bone growths, so the horns, any teeth that you find on the chest and stuff. The Blightbringer has that large horn growth that's holding up the bell. So make sure you paint that. And uh, yeah, just have a good look around. If you see any maggots as well, paint those in the rack off flesh too. And then we move on to Mephiston Red. So make sure you thin this down nicely uh, to get a nice consistent coverage. You will need to do a couple of layers of this as well as the Rakar Flesh. Um, and you'll be focusing on all of the robes as well. The only part on the Blightbringer that will require uh, the red will be the eye of the Nurgling. And also don't forget to paint in the eye of the Plague Champion's Bloat Drone. With the Celestial Grey, we will be painting the cloud of noxious fumes that the playcaster is spewing along with the wing-like cloth bits that are hanging off his power pack. Uh, the Blightbringer will have his tabard painted with this and also the free skull icon on his shoulder pad. And then the wings on the Plague Champions light drone will be painted in this as well. With Retributor to Gold we'll be doing what we always do so painting all of the icons, the little uh, plague flies um, that hang from the armor and uh, the ends of the uh, the robes if they've got any uh, metal parts that hang on there uh, the incense as well on the blight bringer and of course all of the edges of the armor as well the play champion also has uh, like a demon head on his power pack so paint this in the retributor gold too at this point it's worth noting that there are plenty of small details that you can focus on now that you have those base colours down. So with the play caster you have um, the eyes, they, well I say eyes, it's actually just an eye, uh, that you want to paint with the rack off flesh um, and any maggots you find on the robes at the back that look like wings. Um, and then if you see any string that holds the little fly icons onto any part of it you want to paint those in abdon black as well as well as the flies in that plague cloud um, so we move on to the noxious blight bringer and uh, with the rack flesh again make sure you pick out those little maggots if you haven't already and uh, with lead belcher you want to have a look at those fleshy pipes and pick out the little metallic ribs that are sort of sticking out from it from those pipes and then any other details that you want to touch up with the abdon black like the uh, the string that holds the icons on and so on and so forth if you have a look at the larger bone growth that's holding the bell above the uh, blightbringer's head there's a little fleshy growth within the base of that horn so paint that in with the Bugman Glow. And uh, yeah, just have a look at little details here and there. Again with the Plague Champion, it's got similar details. It's got a death's head hanging from the back. Um, so you can paint in the eyes and the stitching with the rack of flesh. And uh, yeah, just carry on with all that. Now we move on to the shades. So starting with Reichel and Flesh Shade, we'll go around all of the fleshy areas of all three characters. Uh, including the Nurgling as well um, but just leave out its horn because we'll be moving on to a different shade for that when you're finished with the Reichlin flesh shade we move on to the Agrax earth shade 
With this, we are going to be painting in all of the gold details and we will also be painting in the red robes and any red details and all of the bone growths as well. So do remember not to let it pull too much and just to push it around as much as possible so you get a nice smooth coverage. Finally we move on to non oil and this will be for the silver areas so all the chains and the pipes. Okay, and then finally we will move on to the bases. So, uh, as I've shown you before, I use super glue to put the models onto the bases temporarily because it's easy to snap off rather than using the plastic glue which melts the plastic together. Um, it's a lot easier to apply the astro granite, and once it's dry, you can just super glue them back on. Um, make sure that you don't use a brush, use any kind of tool. Right now I'm using the mold line remover and uh, it's still quite effective. And you just get a big blob after shaking it well, slap it on the base, move it around and uh, try and cover as much of the base as possible. Back in it all over the sides and uh, then you can start working on textures so you can make it lumpier in some areas, ridged or smooth. It's entirely up to you. And then leave it to dry and then once it's dry you can then glue the models onto the base. And there you have it. So as you can see, this is what they should look like at this stage. We will be revisiting these models with more paints and uh, we'll be looking at recess shading and um, highlighting and stuff like that later on. So there you have it, there's the painting guide for issue 34. Do remember we are going to get a lot more guides in the future with different paints and stuff just to enhance those models even more with recess shading and layering and highlighting. Now, enough with that, let's have a look and see what you lot have been up to in this community focus. So there you have it, that was our community focus for this issue. And as you can see, there's plenty of inspiration there. So it doesn't matter what color scheme you wanna do, how you're gonna paint them, how detailed you wanna make them. There's so much uh, inspiration there, so you can really get a good idea of what you wanna do. And if you wanna follow the guides, or if you wanna do your own thing, well, there you go. That's what the community focus is there for. So thank you for everyone for participating in that. And I can't wait to do the next one so before we go please do remember to subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't already and you know let everyone know about it and uh, and if you want to know more about painting and more detailed tutorials I'm starting to do them on my patreon so it's very cheap only like a dollar a month and uh, you get access to extras as well so the link will be in the description below. 
And while you're down there, have a look at all my other social media links. And there are also links to fantastic Facebook groups there who help to bring this hobby to life and help, you know, inspire you. As well as, you know, giving you positive feedback. And they're always welcoming when it comes to sharing your work. So it's worth checking them out. And lastly, before we go, don't forget to check out Big Mech Dan Skull. Again, link is in the description below. He, every Thursday, releases a video with the latest issue. He expands upon the contents with all of his accumulated knowledge. And he really sort of fleshes it out and gives it a bit more oomph. And then on Tuesday, no, sorry. And then on Mondays, he then has a little showcase that he started with the Conquest models that he started to paint. He's doing his own uh, color schemes for the uh, Death Guard, and he's also doing Imperial Fists. So he's oh, he's experimenting with uh, different techniques, and it's really fascinating stuff. So go check him out. Now, all of that promotional stuff is done. I can breathe. So, thank you again for watching. I hope to see you again in the next one.